Dr. Bin Jain. And uh, we're going to play the playlist. Everybody has access to it. We're gonna play the first song. You can also do it without music. And we're gonna do a little warm up. I mean, like at least half of the class of today is warm up. We're gonna work on the apps and then we're gonna start with the Korea. So we're gonna tune in and blah, blah, blah. If you happen not to listen to me because this microphone is a bit uh, gentle, you just write me in the chat like Eugenia, you're talking alone. So we're gonna start by going on the mat. And we're gonna do a very little beautiful exercise for our navel point. And they're all gonna be around one minute. So it's gonna be very easy. The first one is gonna be normal. Just laying down on the mat. You're gonna bend the feet and the legs and you're gonna place your hands behind your head. And we're gonna do little crunches like this. But you're not gonna lift the head and do this with the neck. You're gonna imagine that the head and the chest are one part. So when you bring the head up, you also bring the chest up. And you're gonna look up into the ceiling, not to the knees. Here we go. You can keep the eyes open and you're gonna make little crunches, bringing the head and the chest up, feeling how you're actually crunching. You have to be conscious of what you're doing. If you're thinking about something else, but your body right now, wrong. Concentrate on crunching those abs. And the breathing will come naturally. The elbows are open. You do not bend them or close them. You keep them like this, crunching more. Breathing in and out. Maybe you can go a little higher. Every time a little higher. Ten seconds. This is just a warm up. We're going to do a Kriya for vitality. And we're also going to work on the abs today. Now rest the head there where it is. You're going to keep the hands behind your head. But this time you're going to lift the legs 90 degrees. And you're going to bring the right shoulder to the left knee, extending the right. And then you're going to alternate. So one shoulder to one knee, the other shoulder to the other knee. The other one extends forward 60 degrees. And you're going to try to do this like a beautiful ballerina, staying up. Breathing in and out, very slow. One, and then you change. Two, and then you change. One, and then you change. Two. Really touching the elbow with the knee. Breathing in and out. Chest is higher. You're going feeling in the abs already. Something is happening already. Beautiful. Pointing the toes. Thirty seconds. Are you gonna keep the head up center? You're gonna extend the legs ninety degrees, and you're gonna alternate between extending one leg and bringing one up, and then extending the other one. So one stays ninety, the other one goes forward, and you just grab your ankle, your lower leg, and the head is up. Feel that every time you bring one knee to you, you're making those abs, you're marking, you're stretching, you're building, you're creating. Use your breath, keep on pointing the toes. Yes. Seconds, some more seconds. Thank you. 
And now both legs up. You're gonna extend the legs, sit, place the elbows behind you, extend the legs almost 60 degrees. You're gonna lower them and bring them up. We're gonna only do this for one minute or less, if I can't, because I'm the teacher. So the feet are gonna be flat. You're gonna be on your elbows. You're gonna extend the legs up. And you're gonna lower them together and up. And up. And up. And up. Yes, you can. Feet are together. Legs are extended. Feel that you're lifting the legs from your core. We have two more. And then another one. Beautiful. You're gonna lay down on the mat again. You're gonna hug your knees for a moment. Side to side. Give them a beautiful hug. You're gonna open the legs wide. You're gonna make your fingers interlace with the Jupiter fingers out. You're gonna point the toes and we're gonna do little crunches here like this. Eyes open. Pointing those Jupiter fingers, pointing the toes out. <laughs> if you don't feel don't know what's happening to you, use your breath. Now a little faster. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Legs together. Feet on the floor, relax the hands inside the body. Inhale, exhale. You're gonna turn both knees to the right side. You're gonna place your hands behind your neck and you're gonna bring the head up and the chest up, but up center. So the legs are the only ones going to the right and you're gonna bring the head up center like this. So you're gonna work on the obliques. If the legs go to the right, you're working on the left side. So concentrate, left side, muscles coming out, left side, muscles building up, left side, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna change the legs to the other side. So you just bend them and let them drop and the head starts going up and center. And also your chest and you feel the right side being created, crunch it, and breathe, nice, five, four, three, two, and one, you're gonna bring the legs straight up, bend it. And we're gonna alternate between bringing the legs over the head and then down, extending, touching the heels on the floor and then going back. If you can't touch the feet over the head, great. If you can't, you're gonna do what you can. And this is the movement we're gonna alternate. Are we ready? Here we go. Hands aside the body, legs overhead. Legs forward, heels on the floor. Legs overhead. Legs forward, heels on the floor. Legs overhead. Close your eyes and breathe. And see what you can do today. Navel point in. Don't let the belly come out. Really concentrate. Heels are together. You're using your elbows, using your arms, you're using your core. 
and the rest of the body is relaxed. Use your breath for strength. We have two more. And one. Nice. You're going to close your eyes and rest the body for a moment. Inhale. Exhale. You're going to bring in the right knee to your chest. You're going to push the body up. And we're going to do the last exercise. Legs up. Extend. Arms forward. You're going to pump. If you cannot leave the legs straight, you're going to bend them in tabletop. But if you can leave them straight, be my guest. Looking at your toes. Uh, yes, you can. It's only 10. And then stop. Look, 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 look. Shake, 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 shake. Lower. Come forward and hug the knees. Mm, and shake them. Now we're going to stop the music and we're going to start with the Kriya. So you're going to come near the computer for a moment or wherever you are, sitting on a brick and stopping the music. And we're going to tune in. So the spine is going to be straight. Your hands are going to be on your knees. You're going to close your eyes. You're going to take this precious moment to focus on your breathing and to make your breathing go slow. Very deep inhales. And exhales. Inhale. Exhale. Keep on breathing, listening to the silence around you. Stretching your spine. Lowering the elbows and the shoulders. Opening your chest. Keep on breathing. And now bringing the hands to the middle of the chest, rubbing them vigorously. We're going to chant a rapid version of Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Placing this heat on the heart center, thumbs on the sternum, sternum on the thumbs, inhaling fully. Exhaling. Inhaling to begin. Ong namo guru dev namo, ong namo guru dev namo, ong namo guru dev namo. Hat kuret na me, jugat kuret na me, sat kuret na me, siri guru dev ven na me. Hat kuret na me, jugat kuret na me, sat kuret na me, siri guru dev ven na me. Hat kuret na me, jugat kuret na me, sat kuret na me, siri guru dev ven na me. Inhaling fully. Holding that breath, pressing your palms, stretching the spine, holding that breath, stretching the spine, holding that breath, holding that breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, relax the hands and the knees. And very slowly, you're gonna open your eyes. And you're gonna be my DJ. We're going to play assonance if you want. You can always play your music. And I prepare a Kriya for today for physical and mental vitality. So we're going to do a lot for the core as well. We're going to start by laying on our backs. Setting time. 
and we're going to bring the legs 30 centimeters high and we're going to crisscross them wide so the legs have to really open wide and then you have to crisscross them center so if you don't have the strength in your core to sustain these legs being stretched in front of you you're going to make a little triangle with your hands place it under your tailbone and they will that will give you like a little support of what you have to do 30 centimeters around crisscrossing wide if this is too demanding for you you can of course bring the legs higher but we have to do it 60 degrees we're going to do a rest and then we're going to start again here we go use your breath opening and closing the legs wide as wide as you can use your breath every time you inhale you inhale prana for whatever you need to do and every time you exhale you exhale what you don't need in your body keep on moving we have only we have only you will never know remember if low is too demanding you can bring them a little higher elbows shoulders on the mat kriya for vitality mental and physically and that's what we're doing beautiful Close your eyes, trust the body, use your breath. Really open the legs wide, feel the work that you're doing. We have 30 seconds, and then we have to rest. Can you do? The next 25. Can you do the next 20? Can you do the next 15? The next 10. The next 5. Stop. Relax the legs down. Relax the hands up. Close your eyes and rest. We're going to do it again. So use this rest consciously. Consciously resting. Inhaling. Exhaling. Relaxing the legs, let them drop. your hips let them drop relax your navel point 30 seconds of rest to go can you rest relaxing Almost there. And preparing, crossing again the legs. You're going to make a triangle under your body if you need to. You're going to bring the legs up and you're going to start crossing, crisscrossing, alternating toes pointing your legs. Make sure your lower back is not curved would make the exercise harder 
place in the hand on the table could help you, not the opposite. So check. This is helping me. Do I feel my shoulder place on the mat? Is my core activated? Or I feel arched and I'm doing... You can always stop and start again. Make sure you get everything right. Crease crossing lower. If you can't, you can cross higher. Check your limit today. Feel every time you breathe, you're pulling the navel point in. Activating your core. Doing it great. Keep the legs straight. Keep the legs straight. Keep the knees straight. You can do this wide. Can you open the legs wider than before? Every time wider. This is the last seconds of this exercise and then we're not going to do it again, I promise. But you're going to feel it tomorrow. Keep on pointing. Don't let the legs bend. What if I said we have 30 seconds? Could you do them? Last 10. Give yourself a treat and stop and rest and relax the hands inside the body and stay here again resting for one minute here we go you're gonna need your legs for the next exercise so really relax the legs now close your eyes drop the legs Drop your hips, close your eyes. Not doing is also an asana. You have to master both doing and not doing. Can you not do? Relax the chest. Let everything drop. Relax. Relax the feet, the ankles, the knees. Drop. Relax. Inhaling fully, exhaling. And for the next exercise, we're gonna make again this beautiful triangle under the tailbone. And this time we're gonna bring the legs 90 degrees in a tabletop position. And we're gonna start alternating like bicycling. One leg goes forward, the other one is bent, and the other one extend when the other one is bending. Are we ready to do this? for mm, 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 you will never know how much. If you don't need the hands under the table, you can place them aside facing down. Check your ability. Here we go, inhaling, exhaling. One leg's extended, the other one bends, and then the other one extends, and the other one bends. The legs are moving in a parallel motion. It's a bicycle, but parallel. You're crunching your abs like crazy right now. Feel it. When one leg goes in, you're crunching. So keep the belly in while you breathe. 
And while you exhale, I know it's not what we usually do. What I'm saying is when you inhale, you pull the navel in. And when you exhale, you pull the navel in. This is another type of breathing. If you do this during this exercise, the abs are gonna be marked easier. You're putting a lot of pressure there right now. Don't let the belly drop. Parallel motion, toes pointing. Kriya for physical and mental vitality. Can do this. Navel point in. The effect of the Kriya is measured by the effect of each exercise. So let's see. How are you doing this right now? Navel point in. Ground in your core to the mat. Extending and pushing the legs in, only 25 seconds. Yes, you can. What is the quality of your thoughts while you do this? Are you cursing? Are you complaining? Or are you enjoying what you're doing? And then bring both legs 90 degrees, inhale. Exhale, extend them. You're going to rest for one minute. Let the legs drop, hands up. Close your eyes and breathe. Rest, drop, sink, melt. Do nothing. Now, Elbows, wrists, shoulders, relaxed. Breathing in and out. Big smile in the face. You can always smile and thank life for your beautiful body. Beautiful, healthy, wise, holy body. Beautiful, healthy, wise, holy body. Breathe, smile, 30 seconds. Beautiful, healthy, wise, holy body. Fifteen. We're gonna do it again. Yes, yes, yes. Hands under the table. Legs tabletop position. And you can begin pushing bicycles. This is a very short career. It's only four exercises. This is exercise number two. Keep on bicycling your legs. If you hear your hip popping, try to make the legs higher. But if you can do them parallel without any noise, be my guest. Beautiful, healthy, holy, wise body. One goes in, the other one goes back. Toes pointing. Breathing in, navel in. Breathing out, navel in. Can you do that? It is harder, I know. Beautiful. Yes. Doing it great. We have one more minute.
The hands can also go aside the body, facing down. Feel the navel point activated. Imagine there are 72,000 meridians or nadis of energy emitting there. So when you pull it in, you're activating everything in your body. This is an amazing center of energy in the body. Pull it in. And breathe. Yes, we have 20. This is the last leg workout. Beautiful. Parallel pushing, parallel. Core in. Breathing in and out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now extend both legs forward. Take a big inhale. Hold the breath. Mula Banda. And exhale. Relax the hands facing up. Drop the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right knee to the chest. Pull the body up. Now we're going to do breath of fire. This is going to be an arm workout. You're going to sit in easy pose. You're going to interlace your fingers like this and you're going to place them up over the head facing up. So the palms of my hands are facing up to the ceiling and the fingers are interlaced like this. And we're going to do breath of fire. Notice my navel point is moving in and out every time I breathe. If you're your pregnant or in your moon cycle, you're not going to do breath of fire. You're gonna do long and deep breathing, but if you can do breath of fire, let's go. Interlacing the fingers, extending the arms like a beautiful arc over the arc line. Closing the eyes, inhaling fully. Exhaling, inhaling for breath of fire. Here we go. Keep on breathing, keep on concentrating. You can follow the rhythm of the music. You can make your own rhythm. The spine is straight, the arms are high. The hands are placing up the air as if you were pulling the air over the palms, over you. Keep on breathing, focusing on the third eye. You can do this, just concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. We have more 30 seconds, breath of fire, you can do this. 30 seconds breath of fire, you can do this. 25 seconds breath of fire, you can do this. Inhaling fully. 
Hold the breath, stretch your arms, apply Mula Panda. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale. Bring the arms down, keep the eyes closed. And feel, Kriya, for mental and physical vitality. Do you know what I'm saying? Keep the eyes closed and feel the energy moving through your body with your breath. Nice. And then slowly open your eyes. We're going to do a similar exercise by crossing the arms behind your back and placing only in your shoulders the thumbs. So the thumbs of the opposite hands are going to be facing forward. And then the rest of the hands are going to be grabbing the shoulders. It's very slight what I'm trying to explain. Just feel the thumb wanting to say, yoo-hoo, hello on the forward side. Grabbing the shoulders. Spine straight, arms crossed behind your head. We're going to do breath of fire here. Then we have a rest and then you go into deep relaxation. So why don't you give the best that you can right now? Closing the eyes. Breath of fire. Love what you're doing. Keep on breathing. Learn to love what you're doing. Even if you hate it, you have to learn to love it. Keep on breathing. Big smile in the face. This is the last exercise. Keep on breathing, you can do this. This Kriya is a Kriya for when you want to work very hard. And yes, we want to work very hard. And that's what we're doing. We're working gracefully, breathing consciously throughout the exercises and projecting our mind to be expansive and to become stronger with our muscles. We have only 30 more seconds. Twenty, you can do this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now listen to me. Inhale, exhale. Now inhale. Hold the breath, apply Mula Bandha. Close the first three chakras, send the energy up through your spine. Feel that your spine is stretching. Exhale, we're gonna do it again. Inhale. Hold the breath, apply Mula Bandha. Lock your anus, your sexual organs, your navel points, send the energy up through the spine. Get higher and higher and higher and higher. Exhale, last time, inhale. Hold that breath. Exhale, relax the hands, slow down on the knees, up. Keep your eyes closed and feel. Opening of the chest, opening of your lungs. Pure awareness. Stay. Inhale and exhale. 
You're going to stay there with your eyes closed for a little rest, and then you're going to go into deep relaxation. So one minute resting in easy pose. Just connecting with your body and relaxing completely. Imagine that your mental body is separating from your physical body right now. Imagine parts of the body leaving the body and moving around you, like dancing around you. And then the body becoming lighter and relaxed. Twenty. And now inhaling fully and exhaling. And open your eyes. And you're going to prepare for the deep relaxation. You can select the song Flutes 2 if you want. Or you can leave the music that makes you happier. And you're going to rest on the mat for the next five minutes. And then we're going to meditate. So flux yourself. Lay down, grab a blanket. Make yourself comfortable to rest where you've done. Closing the eyes, hands aside the body, relax. Let the body drop and do nothing. Can you do nothing? Relaxing the body. Check for tension and you tell the tension to go. On your wrists, on your fingers, on your knees, on your waist, on your neck, arms, jaw, tongue.
slowly rotating your hands around your wrist and your feet in circles to one side and the other side and stretching your arms over your head and stretching the armpits and with the right hand grabbing the left knee bending the left knee over the straight and right leg into the cat stretch opening the arm looking to the opposite side with your head pressing with the hand the knee down feeling the stretch this is a stretch that you have to stretch what you've done so can you stretch your abs and then change in size with the other hand. You grab the other knee, bend it over the straight and leg, open the arms, look to the opposite side. Press the knee, stretch, stretch your abs. And then bring in the hands and the feet in the air. You're gonna wrap the soles of the feet and the palms vigorously, creating beautiful, warm, motherly heat. And then hugging your knees to your chest, you're going to bend side to side, again stretching the body and then forwards and backwards till you can come seated into an easy pose for meditation. So, I prepare for today the liberated heart meditation, it's a meditation that has an 8-8 eight, eight breathing modus, rhythm. So we're gonna basically <clears throat> connect the heart center with the immune system. So it's a meditation that opens the heart and uh, it's really good for the defense of the body. We're gonna bend the fingers and the mounds, really pressing all these little fingers here in this line, pressing there, and extending the thumbs. We're gonna join the thumbs exactly under the nose, creating a little arc line as if we had a mustache. This is going to be 15 centimeters from the face. So it's not there, it's 15 centimeters from the face. But it is creating an arc line there. The fingers are going to be bended, the eyes are going to be closed, and we're going to inhale eight seconds in eight strokes like this. And then we're going to eight, exhale out. The whole thing should last around 10 seconds, so I guess the pace that I use is the one we're going to use. Eight in, eight out. The elbows are going to be relaxed. And we're going to join the heart center with the immune system. We're going to start with the eyes closed and then we're going to open them and we're going to be looking at the thumbs. So just concentrating on what we're doing, closing the eyes, bending the fingers, thumbs joining in the middle, over the lips, like a little mustache, a little arched as well. Inhaling fully, exhaling. We're gonna open the eyes and look at your thumbs and we're gonna inhale for eight. And exhale for eight. repeat Keep on breathing, keep on focusing on your thumbs.
Inhaling fully. Holding the breath, apply Mulla Bandha, looking at your thumbs and thinking, my heart is opening, my immune system is strong, I am a very healthy person. Exhale. Relax the hands and the knees, close the eyes. Feel healthy, feel open-hearted, feeling peace. Feel equanimity, feel steadiness. Check your breathing. Feel centered and grounded and expanded. Bring your palms together and wrap them at the center of the chest. And then place these hands in front of the heart, thumbs on the sternum, inhaling fully, exhaling, inhaling for Satnam. to the third eye for intuition, back into the mouth for truth, and back into the heart center for love, compassion, and awareness. Bending forward as an act of gratefulness, placing the third eye on the floor and pulling with the big strength of your navel point up the spine, inhaling again. Exhaling, big smile in the face. Going back in three, two, one. Open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for coming. Thank you so, so much.